Hello. In this uh, tutorial video, we want to show several typical use cases using the generic hard DTM with any hard device. First, press the function key on the tablet. Pactware will be started now, and uh, a small project is loaded. There are two DTMs in this project instantiated, the Hardcom DTM and the generic hard DTM. Clicking on read and identify device will read all parameters from the device and now we see it's a Vega device. Next use case is parameterization. You can use this key here and in this user interface the identification page now if you want to change the value of the user message you select the field only capital letters are allowed according to the hard protocol you change the value the pencil shows that, then you apply and the change data will be stored to the project. Then look at several other pages and read again parameters from the device. And then you will see that these are the parameters of the device. It's shown by this icon. Next use case is the diagnosis. You start the diagnosis by pressing this key here. The diagnosis function is a cyclic function. It's shown with this icon here. And this tool is selected for cyclical read. The third use case is measured values display. There you see the primary variable and the secondary variable of the device. You can wipe the scale here for a better display. And this is again an online dialogue. This means that the parameter values are read out every five seconds or another interval you can select. And the last use case shown in this tutorial is the data acquisition and data logging. On standard, we have three values here. The primary value variable, the secondary variable of the current. It's again an online dialogue that means that every five seconds the values are read out from the device. Now the current is unchecked here. So we have only two variables as shown in this diagram. If you want to correct the display here on the scale, you use this tool here. And now data logging can run for minutes or hours or days, even days. And if you want to archive the values, then tip on this red point here and all data read out from the device will be logged in a file. The file is stored in this directory here in my trends. And now we look into the file. It's a comma separated value file, ZSV file. You can open this with a notepad. And then you can see all data that are collected in this file here.